Oh, good morning, guys, and welcome back to TK's Garage. And, uh, yeah, you know, we're trying to start 2021 off, right? Time to go get these eggs and bacon. And then we're going to talk about how you can flip that $600 in stimulus money this week. But to get into the all seriousness, you can see the trailer back here in the back. When, how I start my morning, when I get up every morning, whether I'm getting into the car or I'm doing whatever, I throw the ear, ear the ear pods, the ear pods in my ear. And literally, let me get to hot and hold real quick. Here's how I start my day. Right here, I'm on CNBC. Now it is the weekend, but I'm on CNBC and I am listening for tips, things of that nature, things that might be moving with the market this week. Um, and this is, it's not just like, oh, I'm going to listen to this and get a million dollar thing out of them. It's just more information. You can never have enough information, man. So let's go ahead and get rolling. All right. So let's talk about the purpose of today's video. So everybody just got this money. In. Well, most people got this money in. I didn't get shit, <laughs> but, um, but that's good though. It should, it should go to people that actually need the funds um, that are coming in. So there's two different ways. I'm going to show you the way that I think is the best way to flip it right now in this market, being that everybody has this money. And that would be buy a very cheap used car and turn that 600 bucks into a cool 1200 or 1500 bucks and then repeat. Now, Here's the thing, man. It's not every day that you're given uh, an asset or a small amount of money that you don't have to pay back and you're not getting it from your friends or your family where you have to feel like a douchebag later because you never paid them back, right? This is $600 that they can't even tax you for this year. That is unbeatable. And in fact, for the people that were around earlier in the year, if you did similar investments with that other 1200 that means this year alone if we're talking about people that are like super friggin broke ain't making no money you know the average that that median super friggin broke income is about 18,000 a year well damn they gave they gave those people like 10 percent of their annual income this year for free that's a hell of a bonus <clears throat> but what could you do with 1800 bucks <clears throat> excuse me i know you're like well, TK, what would you do with 1800 bucks in a year? Well, I'll tell you what. If you had put that 1800 bucks, for prime example, into Bitcoin, Bitcoin has broken $31,000 as of this morning, and I am doing this. <laughs> Yo, I, I, have, I have the biggest Birdman hand rub in the country right now. I am, I am over here like, eh. <laughs> and I don't see it stopping anytime soon. That said, it is not financial advice. Don't listen to me when it comes to, just solely up to me when it comes to investment. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, okay? And um, I love it, man. But for the purposes of today's video, we're going to make this simple. 600 bucks, we're buying a used car um, from two different places. Could you buy one from Copart? could at 600 bucks it's not impossible but you might be looking for a while okay it might be hard and you might get you might get you know a, a turd like my mitsubishi or something like that 
and you could get one where I'm going to tell you now too, but there's two places and we're going to cover the first one first. And that would be, and I'll give you a prime example. I'm here in Las Vegas. We'll look in Las Vegas. We're going to look at Facebook marketplace and we're going to look and see what's available for 600 bucks here in town. Now I've seen, I think only two other notable automotive channels talk about something like this with the 600 bucks. One that actually only bought a vehicle. So I'm going to try to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to look for something that's like 600 bucks. I'm going to buy it and then we'll probably donate it or something before we leave. Or maybe we'll give it away. I don't know. If it's somebody here locally in Las Vegas, Nevada, and they really need a car, maybe we'll we'll uh, we'll donate it. It is a new year and I do need to start getting my tax write-offs rolling. That said, um, we're about to get up here to Blueberry Hill Restaurant. My favorite place. Look at this green monster on my chest in the light. Uh, it's one of my favorite places. I'm just hoping it's not friggin' busy because of all these Californians that are here in town right now. Stay in California. Don't come here for New Year's. Do you New you know, should Did you New Year's in California? You know. But I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm, I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> but ooh. Uh, parked. All right, so let's go in here and get my eggs and bacon, and then we'll go ahead and jump into the uh, next part of the video. We're going to look at Facebook Marketplace, and then we're going to look at another website called Joyride Autos. Now, this is just some free game, all right? Like, I'm, I'm showing you where you can literally take 600 bucks, and now the thing with Joyride Autos is it's not in every city. It, I'm going to show you the cities that it's available in, but it's another little hidden gem that a lot of people don't know about. And you should jump on it while you can. It's free to sign up. There's no yearly membership, no none of that. And no, it's not sponsored. I haven't even worked out anything with the company yet. I, I, now, full disclosure, the company has hit me up, but I haven't done anything with the company yet. I keep it a buck. I will tell you if I ever if I ever post something and it's sponsored, I tell you, like today's video. <laughs> and today's video is being brought to you uh, by Ediag. We have some brake fluid testers and some other stuff you guys are going to see in some upcoming videos. Uh, but somebody in the comment section is going to get $400, okay? It's $400, $400 in cash. I don't know how they do it. Maybe they'll sell it to you, PayPal it. I don't know. They're going to pick a comment in the comment section down below. They'll let me know. I'll pin it, and you win. It's real simple to win. Like I said, just have to comment in the comment section down below. Smash the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Real easy, and it ends today, like it's today's video, so real simple. So let's go ahead and check out Facebook Marketplace first, then we'll bust out Joyride Autos and see what you could potentially buy for 600 bucks and what you could get for it reasonably market share-wise, retail, just a quick flip, and see what you could turn that $600 into. <clears throat> Y'all see the breakfast, eggs, coffee, bacon, that's about it. All right, guys, so we are in the Facebook Marketplace now. Now, you can find a lot of different things on Facebook Marketplace. Look, be careful if you're meeting somebody in person. Um, you never know what you're going to run into or who you're going to run into. You know, it could be a setup. It could be a robbery. It could be whatever, you know. Just be mindful of your surroundings and all that good stuff before you just randomly meet somebody online somewhere, all right? Just wanted to get that out the way. So let's go over here first. We're going to go to vehicles, right? Oh, is it going to make me go sideways mode? Come on. Ugh. All right, we are now in there. So now I'm going to click vehicles. I had to go in through the browser. I was trying to use the Facebook app, but, you know, it is what it is. You can see here we're, uh, we're looking at Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, somebody was selling an iPhone 11. I did hit them up. They were selling it for $200. I figured something was up or it was bogus, but nah, it was legit. So it is what it is. Um, so let's look, man. Now, again, you can see the different prices and stuff here. Now, what we want to do is we kind of want to sort through this because we only got 600 bucks, right? So we need to, let me see if I can add filters in here. Mm, maybe not. But see, online, on a regular browser, you can put in how much. You could put 600 or whatever. But let's just look and see if we can find 
some cheap vehicles. I'm surprised they don't filter. You can't filter anything through here. All right. Well, let's just look. <clears throat> there's a Mitsubishi Galant, but that's double that, thirteen hundred. Now, if you're a family, and there's more. Like here's here's a solid one. I mean, it's more than six fifty, but I'm trying to give you an example. Let's see if this opens. This is a Chevy Trailblazer LS. Now the black spots that look like something's leaking under it does not instill confidence. 200,000 miles. It is the V6. Ugh. Title clean. Vehicle works well. It runs and everything only needs to be checked. A transmission sensor that needs to be repaired. Because uh, it doesn't allow the fourth gear to pass. No. That's because you have a 4L60E and it's crap. Now it could just be a transmission sensor. Um, what do they call those? Uh, the solenoid, solenoid B, I believe. But look, that does go bad on those, and it is a real easy repair. You drop the pan, you replace the solenoid, you put the pan back, put in some fresh fluid, and keep it moving. But the 4L60E is also known for being a garbage transmission, and um, yeah, it does not instill confidence at all. So we'll go. Hey, look at that. That's a thousand bucks. This is totally outside of what we were talking about with six hundred bucks, though. So, it may not be able to to go from there. Look at that. That's got to be fake news. An 05 Recon Denali that looks that clean for a thousand bucks with eighty eight thousand miles. Can you say it with me? Scam. <laughs> yeah. Romaro. All right, I see you. I don't know if I'd have a license plate like that, but they got like this Jeep for a thousand bucks. A lot of these are down payments on vehicles through like buy here, pay here lots, aka scams. Hey, here's look, here's one. 2003 Nissan Sentra. Now, is it the prettiest car? Nah. But here's the thing. Let's say you buy this car, right? Let's take a look at the photos. Okay. The clear coat is clearly shot, right? Now, it wouldn't hurt to wash it, hit it with a DA, right? You got it for 525 bucks, so hit it with a buffer, right? You can go pick one up at Harbor Freight for like 20 bucks, by the way, all right? Hit it with a cheap-ass DA and some rubbing compound and buff out whatever's there. Even though the clear coat's shot, it is what it is, right? Clean the car up. Buff out those headlights so it looks nice and clear. Basically, clean the damn thing up, right? This one's five hundred and twenty-five bucks. Let's see if it runs though. One hundred fifty thousand miles, right? Only five hundred. Look at this; it's even cheaper. Five hundred bucks, working good. Um, no battery. Trunk latch is broken. All right, so it works good, but there's no battery. Ugh. I don't know what's up with that. It works good, but there's no battery. This might be one we go look at. Just because I want to see. Because something's up with that. That's weird right there. An 03 Nissan Sentra for 500 bucks. Now, you know, if uh, can you buy a decent car, uh, you know, for 500 bucks anymore? Not n really, okay? Um, not really. Let's just be honest. No. Oh, this is at Tucson, Arizona now. Look at this. Come on now, man. Can we not do that? Can we, can we stay where we were looking? All right. Oh, it looks like all the cheap cars are... Gone. These Cadillacs, look, this one's got paper tags on it, but they're already selling it. Say it with me. Head bolts, head gasket. Now, that 01 Grand Prix, if it has a 3.8 liter V6, is not a bad uh, vehicle. There's another Sentra, two grand. Now, here's a Lincoln Continental. That's very similar to what Watch JR Go just bought for 600 bucks in his area. They're selling it out here for 1500 Yeah, I'm not finding... See, Facebook Marketplace is hit and miss. You can find some good deals, 
and you could find some absolute garbage. It just literally depends on what you're willing to look for. But anywho, this was just the purpose of this to, to show you that there's other places to find cars. Uh, here's one right here. It's 800 bucks. Chrysler Concord. Ugh, I can't do y'all like that. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter really for you. I mean, if you're buying it to flip it, but oh, God. I can't do y'all like that. Oh, there's a Chrysler minivan for a th 2010 RAV4 500. That's a down payment. I hate that they mix in the dealers now with the... And then the dealers are posting as individual sellers. It just ruins stuff, man. All right, let's go check out the other site because... You know, I'm not fine. There's no way for me to search for this. All I'm telling like, you can search for it. If you're on Facebook Marketplace, and evidently it's because I'm on a mobile, I'm, I'm, on the, I'm on the phone. Um, there is options in Facebook Marketplace where you can select. Um, let me try one more time from up here. If it'll let me desktop site it. It's not doing it, though. I tried. I wanted y'all to see it because let's check out Facebook Marketplace and let me see. Yeah, it just doesn't let you. It just doesn't let you get in to the actual filters. But on Facebook Marketplace, you can go into the filters. Okay. Hold on. All right, guys. So on Facebook Marketplace, you can go directly into the filters, set like 600 bucks as your max number. And then I would also tell you to drop down and click newest first. That way, like cars that might've been posted last night or the next day would pop right up. I would tell you, and here's the thing, they don't have to be 600 bucks. I would even tell you, go to cars that are like listed for 850 or 900, and then just message all of them and offer them 650. You can go look at them individually and see or 600 bucks and go look at them all individually and see if there's one that meets the uh the dust on the dashboard is gonna drive me nuts it meets the criteria for you and then like i said you pick the car up clean it up i mean really clean it you got to put some elbow grease into it clean the car up and then flip it so prime example you can pick up a car on facebook marketplace for that 600 bucks Maybe put two or three hours of your time and labor into it, clean it up, and then you could probably relist it on Facebook Marketplace. And depending on your state, and I'm not telling you to do this, but depending on your state, if you bought a vehicle, now in my state, my, my home state in North Carolina, you have to notarize a title. So you can't really leave a title open per se, but in states like Florida, you could buy a car. They sign it. The title's open. You got to fill in your information on the bottom of the top. You can just not fill that in. Like, you can literally just hold that title, clean the car up. If you're going to try to flip it in the next day or so, and then you leave that section open for the next person that wants to buy that car. And then it doesn't hit your quota because you only get it to sell as an individual a certain amount of cars a year before you require some sort of license. Um, ask me how I know. Anywho, um... So let's get into the other option, which I think is going to be way easier and not a cluster F like Facebook was. Hey guys, so now we are in here and I am on a website called joyrideautos.com. All right. Now they have some auctions that are coming up. You got last chance uh, in Garner's January 5th at 7 a.m. Absolute towing. Now there's different. So you got California, right? You got San Francisco, which is, I guess, California, San Diego, San Bernardino, Los Angeles. Now, in Florida, look, you got Sebring, no upcoming auctions. Indiana, you got a couple of auctions, right? Nevada, look at this, January 13th at 12. It says coming soon. Um, so they don't have the vehicles listed yet. Here's another one, January 14th at 1 p.m., Snap Public Auction. All right? You got Texas. Here's San Antonio, all right? 
Austin, no upcoming auctions. So, the, like I said, Joyride Autos isn't in every city. It's not. It's not in every state. But let's just take a look at. There's 12 vehicles here. It's not a lot, but let's look at Rebello's towing and let's see what they got. All right. Now look at this. 2007 Dodge Caravan. It's at a thousand bucks. A 90, 1996 Toyota Camry. Now here's the thing about these Camrys. All right. These things are like bulletproof cars, man. When I tell you that they're like bulletproof cars, I legit mean it. All right, so there's a gas light on. It's out of gas. The brake light's on. I don't know if the car is actually running, but let's go through the photos. 96. It says salvaged here, so maybe it was into an accident. Let's check all the photos and go from there. Look at that. The interior looks clean. It does. It looks good here. Okay, I see the dent. You can see the dent in the door. It is kind of busted right there. Well, for a daily driver, it's a 1996 Camry. Nobody cares, all right? Like, they're looking for a cheap car. Tail lights taped up. Now, this is something, oof, I can see in the back where it got hit. Now, you could probably pull that plastic out on your own, right? You probably could tighten up that tail light on your own if you wanted to, Um and then sell it. Or you could literally just pick it up and sell it as is. Just sell it the way it is for maybe a hundred bucks more. But we're looking at trying to double up your money. Maybe this car is not the one. So let's go back one. Look at this 07 Hyundai Elantra. I don't even know what's up with that. It's got some weird ass paint scheme on it. Uh, let's look at this Infinity. has a key to 01. Looks clean so far. The hood's open. There's a deep dig there in the door, but again, doesn't really matter as long as it runs and drives well. Someone will buy it as a reliable driver. That tail light is busted. The back window is busted. Yeah, I mean, this one would require some work, but you probably could get more money out of it if you put a little money into it. But again, 197,000 miles too. Yeah, probably not. Let's go back to all auctions let me see if there's another one coming up last chance in garners that's january 5th 1989 kawasaki ninja 500r with no key it's a bike another kawasaki zx 600 200 bucks now here's the thing with these bikes if this bike runs which it probably doesn't but if it does run okay keys no runs it doesn't know private impound here's the thing if it, if it ran you could definitely double your money on this one right uh the tank is dented it's beat up never mind back next bidding starts at 7 a.m all right i see you let's go back one more vehicles all right look at this 1994 ford f-150 now here's the thing now there's no key but, like I said, a lot of these were, like, some of them were towed for sitting somewhere, or they parked it wrong, and then they, they couldn't pay the tow fee or the impound, and people just say, F it, and they don't want to deal with it. But look at this one. Flare side. It looks nice for an old Ford truck. It's not rotted either. Look at the interior of this one, too. Uh-oh, now we're going to get to the engine. Oof. It's all open. Uh, there's no belt. Yeah, it don't run. That's for damn sure. It definitely does not run. Yeah, so maybe not this one. I know y'all like, damn. There's an Explorer. Here we go. 1997 Chevy 1500. So a little Chevy Silverado. It does have a flat tire in the front. Has keys. Let's look at the motor. What does the motor look like? It's got a belt. It's got that, what, 5.7 in it? Yep. Clean. Look at that. I mean, it is sitting on flat tires, but it is clean. You know, the thing you'd have to hope for is that the tires will hold air, but the tires also are kind of bald looking. They don't look that great. 
Interior, doesn't look bad. A little dirty, but not horrible. Not horrible at all. 272,000 miles, it does have the 5.7. And look at this, 400 bucks, all right? And you can see the pre-bids, 275, 300. Could you win this? For 600 bucks? Sure, I think so. Would it require some work? Yes. You're going to clean it. You're going to do something for sure. Look at that. You got a, a 2000 Escalade. Now, this one right here, two grand, it has a gas 6.0. Now, granted, this is not <laughs> this is not a super deal or nothing. It needs it needs some stuff. It runs this is one of the ones that says runs, runs good, 4x4 four four too. 2000 bucks on this. Someone's going to get a hell of a deal on this one here. Look at this one, man. The nice tires, the rims. Man, this one right here. I would daily drive this sucker, man. I would clean it up. I swear, I would remove that topper. I would clean it up. And I would roll this dually like nobody's business. It wouldn't care. I love duallys, man. Damn, that thing is clean. Look at that motor. The alternator looks fresh too. Damn. Now this isn't in the in, in our budget, you know, in our range, but damn, that's clean. I don't want to go to Indianapolis to pick this up, but event starts on January 5th. I might have to save this one. We'll have to see. Two thousand bucks is the current bid. Alright, we'll have to see. I'm I'm that one right there might be a steal. Might be a steal. Look at a Honda Civic. 2001 red Honda Civic. 200 bucks. Now we're starting to get into that category that I was telling y'all about. <clears throat> Let's look at this Honda Civic. Look at that, man. Clean. It's clean. It's got a donut on the rear, but it's clean, man. That is a nice looking, decent looking Honda Civic. Needs to be cleaned up. Uh, let's see what the mileage is on it. They don't have it. They don't know. Huh. But it's at 200 bucks. So this is what I'm trying to tell you guys, though. There are some decent deals that you can get into at the auctions with some of these cars. You just got to look, man. You got to put the time in and look in different places. Now, there's other spots like Craigslist that you could find one of these vehicles in. Um, man, that Jaguar would not touch with a 10 foot pole. Uh, that Cobalt is done. But there are some really good friggin' deals on their website. I'm gonna be honest, man. Look at this 08 Buick Lucerne. Has keys, runs and drives. Look at this. Here's Here it is. This one might be the deal right here. Look at that. Runs and drives. Look at that. Clean, right? Looks like it's wet, to be honest. Like if it rained. Ooh, that door doesn't look like it lines up just right. Huh. But again, these are things that you probably want to see in person. Wow, that top, that rim looks uh, rough. The hell's going on there? But the interior, the leather seats and stuff look clean. Like this is one I would risk money on. What what engine does this have? It's got the 3800 V6, man. It's got to be one of the most reliable engines that GM ever made, man. The 3.8 V6 and it's the Series 3. It's like the well, it's yeah, Series 3 was the last generation, right? Damn, man. This one right here could be the deal right there, man. The VIN number, 160,000 miles. That's nothing for that car. Man, 450 bucks. And this one you could definitely probably win for less than the 600. I see it for sure. So, like I said, there are deals to be had. And there is ways for you to flip that 600 bucks that Uncle Sam just gave you. I'm not going to lie to you. It, like it's a little scarce in some of the auction stuff right now, but you could always look at 
Copart. Um, like I said, Copart is kind of a go-to thing for me. I will look. But again, think about this. This is just a flip car. This is something that you want to clean up, have a title to, and sell. Now, Savage titles do scare some people, right? But at the bottom basement prices, what we call, uh, what is it? Everything five dollars. You know the everything five dollars. They're like you can't really bitch about something that you buy for dirt cheap, right? So if you go buy a car for four hundred bucks, I mean, or you sell a car for like eight nine hundred bucks and you paid what four hundred bucks for it, you doubled your money, right? Um, but the thing is, with the six hundred bucks, especially that's a new that's kind of like the new little secret thing for me right now is with the stuff on Joyride Autos. That dually was a ridiculous thing. Now, do I think it's going to go for two thousand dollars? Hell no, but I bet you I could win that sucker for like twenty five hundred. I bet you I could win that dually for like twenty five hundred. The Honda Civic that wasn't a bad deal. That Buick though, the Buick with the three point eight V six. Now that right there was a deal. I'm telling you, that car right there is probably going to go for less than six hundred bucks. And that's a car that you can clean up, clean up whatever that crap is on the rim, whatever, buff stuff out, get it nice and clean, clean the interior. You could sell that freaking car for two grand all day if it runs and it's good. And if it needs minor things like brakes or something, you could, that's the thing, you could do that job yourself even if you're not super mechanically inclined. This wonderful platform that you're watching this video on right now, more than likely, on YouTube is great for that. You can do it like... You could do your own brakes, especially on something American like that, and it might take you a couple of hours, and now you got fresh brakes on the car if it needed it. I'm not saying it does. I'm just saying, like, little minor stuff like that, oil changes, all that kind of crap, you could do yourself. Save a bunch of money and then flip that car for a profit. So I'm hoping that some of y'all out there are not taking that 600 bucks and you're going, let me go buy the latest iPhone. Because now I can get the iPhone, you know, instead of paying 1300 bucks, now it's only going to cost me seven. That's stupid, all right? That's stupid. Or I'm going to take this 600 bucks and I'm going to go to, I'm going to uh, Fat Booty Judy's, you know, the strip club or something. That's stupid. Okay, maybe you got some buns that evening. Maybe you got some some extracurricular activities in the champagne room. I don't know. But is it worth it? just pissing that $600 away? Nah. Why don't you take that $600, find a car for dirt cheap, whether it's on Craigslist, Joyride Autos, like I showed you, Facebook Marketplace. Go check them out. Make sure they run and drive, right? Especially if it's on Marketplace, it's right there in your town. You can check it out. If it runs and drives, buy it, clean it up, resell the damn car. Double your money up. This is 2021, right? And I said I was going to start doing stuff heavy on the financial channel. And this is kind of like a cross-platform thing, right? If you haven't uh, checked out the financial channel, Keep It 100 Money, um, exactly how it sounds. You can type it into the YouTube search, Keep It 100 Money. Um, you'll, you can go check out the videos that I have over there, but I'm going to start doing that because this is, a, this is an opportunity. Think about this. You could take that 600 bucks, buy a car, double your money, and flip it. Now you're at 1200 bucks, right? Repeat that process. Do that three times in 45 days, right? Or let's say a month. Do it, I, I, I'll put it like this. Do it twice in a month, right? Twice. That's not a lot. Two times in a month. So you went from 600 bucks to 1200 bucks to 2400 bucks in 30 days. Now, where well, you got 2400 bucks if you've done this process twice, take that 600 bucks and go buy that stupid iPhone if that's what you want. Take that 600 bucks and go to Big Booty Judy's. Go ahead and go to the Boom Boom Room. Do whatever it is that you want to do. I can't wait. I already know the comments is going to be like, he did not say the Boom Boom Room. Yeah, man, the Boom Boom Room. <laughs> What's the name of that, that nightclub of yours again? You talking about the Boom Boom Room? Yeah, the Boom Boom Room. That's it. Well, I sure like to see that place and you get it all up and running and pretty looking. Yeah, me too, Ray. Me too. I like to see that rolling too. Yeah, I tell you what though, Radio, you should have been about it last night. You'd have had yourself some big fun. But anywho's, 
the premise of today's video was, you know, to kind of get you guys in the right frame of mind, in the right mindset here to start 2021 and moving forward. And that's, you know, you, you basically, if you're in the right bracket, you were basically given a gift. It's 600 bucks. And why not take that 600 bucks and flip it all year and see what you could be at at the end of 2021? Just a thought. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Major shout out to uh, Joyride Autos again. Like I said, go check them out, joyrideautos.com. Go check out your Facebook marketplace. You can also check out Copart. Um, there's a bunch of different places that you can find cars for cheap. So go check it out, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. You're still here. Bro, this is not a Marvel movie. There's no after credits. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Shout out to today's sponsor over there at eDiag. Good luck to everybody in the comments. We'll give you a little bit more smoke on the way out.